Ujalanta Baradia. Praise God. Praise God. I know the network has just been a bit of a challenge there. We've just had a, a breakdown. We just had a breakdown, but I'm are, are we back on? If we are on, please let me know that we are on so that I just conclude this uh broadcast. Praise God. I know there's just been a glitch uh network there, but um I believe we're back on. If you're back on, please somebody let me know that we're back on so that I carry on. Praise God. Oh gosh. Anyway, I trust that I'm back on. Um so the, the issue is, even when you fail, the falling is not what matters, but it is because you have taken the step. So God knows that you are trying to walk in his plan. Even when you miss it, it does not mean it has expired. You miss it, it's not the end of the road. You take another step, just like a baby. The baby will take their few steps. They fall, you clap for them. You encourage them the same way that God does. In this, in this journey, you will miss it. You will fall. But that's not the end. The power is in you getting up and taking the next step. Maybe you try to prophesy. You try to prophesy and you missed. Try again. You try to lay hands on the sick. Nothing happened. Try again. Watch this. Look at 1 Corinthians. I want to show you something. 1 Corinthians. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 1. Watch this. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. That means spiritual gifts, you learn. They are taught. There is a learning process. Even when you have the spiritual gifts, because you have the Holy Spirit that is the giver of gifts, but there is a process of learning. Because the Bible talks about we grow in the grace through knowledge. We grow in grace and knowledge through the teaching. So even with the spiritual gifts that you have within you, because the giver of the gifts is the Holy Spirit, there is a process of learning. So you're going to miss it. You're going to try and prophesy. I'm seeing... You miss it. Don't stop. Keep trying. Try again. You miss it again. Keep trying. As you are learning, as you are learning, you are growing in that grace. So meaning there is a learning process. So as you grow in grace and knowledge, you become sharp. So you don't, don't be afraid of failure. If you are afraid of failure, you will never start. If you are afraid of failure, you will never start. Right? Are you still here with me? Remember, God loves you. Be Remember, God sees from the end to the beginning. God sees from the end to the beginning. So he knew the fa the, your shortcomings, your failures, the mistakes you're going to make. That is what attracted him to you. That is what attracted him to you. Those your mistakes... They are the ones that attracted him to you and he put his calling upon you. The gifts and the callings of God are without reproach. Repentance. So your shortcomings, they attracted him. Why? Because he's a good father. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 to 5. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit... And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but the same God. It is by the same Spirit. Look at Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, because I'm about to close. Because obviously we had a glitch, but I just thought I would just finish this so that people can jump on this and then just um, we conclude. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Praise God. Galatians 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Against such things, there is no law. But the Spirit, so, watch this. 
So the gifts of the Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit. Fruit is singular. Gifts is plural. So variety of gifts, not variety of spirits. Variety of gifts, not variety of spirits. So you cannot say that I have the spirit of healing, but I don't have the spirit of prophecy. Variety of gifts, not variety of spirits. Remember, fruit is singular, gift is plural. So variety of, variety of gifts, not variety of spirits. So you cannot say, I have the gift of prophecy, but I don't have the gift of working of miracles. I don't have the gift of faith. I don't have the gift. No. No, no. Why? For the spirit has all of them. The spirit has all of them and he is resident in a believer. So right now I'm speaking to a believer that is the embodiment of all the gifts because you have the Holy Spirit who is the giver of all the gifts. So you cannot say, I don't have the spirit of prophecy, but I have the spirit of healing or working of miracles. That's ignorance. Variety of gifts, not variety of spirits. As a child that is growing, you don't, you don't take them to the hospital to attach legs. They grow as they are eating, right? A child grows while they are eating. You don't go to the doctor and say, now we are, we, are, we are back now. Can you attach legs or can you attach fingers? Can you attach this? No, those things, they grow as you are eating. So the gifts are already in your inside. They can only get, there will be a manifestation of as you grow. You begin to see yourself. You begin to exercise authority. You begin to do this. You begin to do that as they grow. So as the child begins to eat, it begins to grow. For the child came with everything. So a believer, when you are born again, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you have received all the gifts. Because the Holy Spirit is the giver of the gifts and he resides in your inside. So as a child is born, the child comes with everything. But as the child begins to eat, the child begins to grow. That's how you grow. So you grow in grace and you grow in knowledge of him. So when you know him, you will know you. So the child learns to speak. Because I was speaking about prophecy. Sometimes you prophesy and then you miss it. And you'll be like, oh, no, no. And then, oh, and then, uh, no, no. You miss it. You keep trying. A child, when they speak, watch this. Speech is in them already. Speech is in them already. But as they grow, speech then finds expression. The gift of prophecy is in your inside. As you grow, that gift finds expression. It's not like you now going to, the Holy Spirit is going to give uh, prophecy in you. No. It's like you go to the doctor and say, my, my child put speech in him. No. The, the speech comes with the baby. But the first few days, the baby cannot speak. As time goes on, as the baby is growing, the baby starts saying, da, 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 de, 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 de. So most of you, Maybe your prophecy level is still, uh, I'm seeing like, like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm like red, like, like purplish, like maroon. You keep growing and then you get to a point that I'm seeing red. I'm seeing blue. No, you're no longer seeing red, like purplish, like blue. As you grow, like the child, at first the child will be like, ah, get da, 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 da. As the child grows, he begins as father, daddy, as you grow. So the gifts of the spirit, they are in your inside. For, for them to find expression, manifestation, you grow. Just as a child grows, speech is already in the child, but it finds expression when you grow. So everything, watch this. Let me close with this because obviously we had done um, the first part. Obviously, you know, there was a glitch. 
So everything that makes God, God, is in your inside. Everything that makes God, God, is in your inside. You are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. You are created in Christ Jesus. So everything that makes God, God, because you have his DNA, you are born of the spirit, not of the flesh. So God is a spirit and you're born of the spirit. So God used his DNA to create you because you are a new creature, a kainos and head of species. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So everything that makes God, God is in your inside. So as you grow, those things, they find expression. Everything that makes God, God is in your inside. So as you begin to grow, as you begin to grow, as you begin to grow, those things that make God, God, they begin to find expression. You are born of the Spirit. As He is, so are we. The same life, the same Spirit that makes God, God, is in your inside. I declare over you, in this season, you will fulfill your assignment in the mighty name of Jesus. You carry the presence of God. Everything that makes God, God is in your inside. As you grow, everything will find expression. The gifts of the Spirit are in your inside. The gifts of the Spirit are in your inside because you have the Holy Spirit. I declare and I decree, may there be a manifestation as you begin to grow in knowledge and grace. The gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. And the gifts of God, you don't purchase them by money. He said, go and heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Freely you have received. Freely give. So you don't purchase the gifts of God by money. There is no exchange. Sow a seed for the prophetic. Sow a seed for your healing. That's a scam. My beloved, I believe that you have been blessed. And I declare and I decree that you're weak. Be blessed. May there be manifestation of that which is in your inside already. Let your, let your speech, let your prophetic find expression in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are not cursed. You are above. You are not beneath. You are the head. You are not the tail. I declare and I decree. May this week be a week of manifestations. May everything that is in you, may everything that is found in God, may it find expression in you. In the name of Jesus, you will work miracles. You will raise the dead. You will heal the sick. You will cleanse the lepers. Freely you have received. Freely give. We don't charge for healing. We don't charge for, for, for anything. Everything that the redemptive sacrifice of Jesus Christ has offered is free. So, freely we have received. Freely we shall give. Go ye therefore. Preach this gospel with authority, with power. Knowing that your words shall be accompanied by miracles, signs, and wonders. My beloved, have a blessed and glorious week ahead of you. I love you so dearly. That is why I have to tell you the truth. You are blessed.